If you've received the error message, no installable kernel found, uh, when you're trying to install Ubuntu Server and VMware, here's a possible workaround for you. First of all, go ahead and answer yes to the prompt continue without installing the kernel and see if you can get to the rest of the installation. That should bring you to a point about here where it says the installation is complete. Now, it probably won't boot because you weren't able to install the boot kernel. So what I'm going to have you do is a couple of things. First of all, uh, go ahead and take a snapshot um, and uh, um, that'll just in case something goes wrong with this process at least you can get back to where you where you left the installation. Uh, then what I'd like you to do is go ahead and power it down. Um, so up here under VM power, uh, click on power off. It'll give you a warning. Um, just go ahead and power it off uh, and we'll be good to go. Then go back up to VM and look at the power option again. This time what you need to do is power on to BIOS. And what that'll do is bring up a screen uh, where you're going to be able to uh, um, set it to, to boot from the CD again. Uh, so you'll get something like this. Go ahead and click on the window to capture the mouse. Arrow over to boot. Then arrow down so that the CD-ROM drive is highlighted. And then hold down the shift key and type the plus key and that'll move the CD-ROM drive up to the top. And that means it'll boot from the CD-ROM drive again uh, rather than trying to boot into the uh, uh, virtual machine. Uh, and when you've done that, if you look down at the bottom right there, you'll see F10 save and exit. So go ahead and hit F10 save and exit. And then yes, we want to save the configuration changes and exit now. And what this should do if the CD is still loaded um, is that it'll bring up the installation CD again. Uh, so click enter, select English uh, or your language. Uh, then what I'd like you to do is arrow down to rescue a broken system and select that and press enter. Uh, this is going to start you off on a process that looks very much like reinstalling uh, Ubuntu, but in actuality what you're doing is uh, um, just creating enough of, uh, enough of uh, the kernel in memory that uh, you, can, you can fix this system. So go ahead and select your keyboard language, uh, your language and keyboard language, just like you did when you were starting the system. Uh, we pretty much just take all the defaults here. Uh, you can end it, uh, select the default for the uh, host name, doesn't really matter for this application. Um, yes to the time zone prompt. And that's pretty much as much as we need to install to get to the, um, to get to the rescue mode. Now it's going to ask you to enter the rescue mode. The default should be slash dev slash SDA1, that's what you want. So with that highlighted, uh, press enter. And then we're also going to execute a shell. That's also the default on this screen. So press enter again. Uh, and then continue. And what you'll find is down here on the bottom left of the screen is a hash mark. And that means that you're in... Um, um, uh, you're in, in root mode uh, as the root user. Uh, and so the commands here you enter don't need the sudo at this point if you're used to typing in sudo. You can just enter the commands. First thing we're going to do is update aptitude. And that'll grab all the fresh packages and so on uh, just to make sure we get the right stuff. And once we've done that, what we want to do now is we actually want to go ahead and install the kernel. Uh, and I'm going to recommend that you use the generic um, uh, generic kernel um, in case the problem that you had um, is actually with a with a PAE switch, which is the server kernel. Uh, so I'm going to have you uh, do aptitude install Linux dash generic. Do you want to continue? Yes. And it's going to start cranking out here. Um, this will take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the recording. Um, you may see a couple of error messages flash by. Uh, in general, these aren't anything to worry about. Um, uh, they should be fine, um, but it's warning you that 
uh, some things that uh, uh, may not be there aren't there, um, which we might expect. So pause the recording and come back in a minute. Now, when it's done, it should look something like this. You should come back to the uh, hash mark prompt. Uh, before we do anything else, um, select Control Alt to get in control of your cursor again. Right click on the CD image down in the uh, uh, VMware system tray and click disconnect. Uh, and that's because the next time we boot, we want to boot from the hard disk itself. Go back and click in the window, type the word exit. That will execute the uh, uh, execute the shell. Uh, go ahead and arrow down to reboot. Click that. And now it should reboot and hopefully this is going to take care of the problem. Now you should have a uh, uh, you should have a kernel now uh, that actually will boot. And go ahead and log in. And if you can log in successfully, your work is done. So I hope this solves your problem. Thanks.